Welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial series. We're creating a quiz game in Scratch. And in this video, we're going to be adding a winning and losing state, and it's going to be determined by the score and the hearts. So let's get started. To get started, we're going to go to our question and we're going to add two new variables, um, not variables, but costumes. And this first one is going to be called win, um, win state. We can call this win state. And this next one you can call lose state. And we're going to tell the player if they've won or if they've lost. So here we're going to say you win and with an exclamation mark. And we can make this a little bit bigger and bring that right here. We don't need to necessarily center it. Um, and then oh, we should also remove this space at the beginning. And yeah, we can actually center it and then bring it to down a bit. And what we can actually just do is duplicate this and make this the lose state. And we're going to say you lose because they don't know the answers. So you lose. Now we need to actually add the code to integrate this in the game. So it's actually quite simple to do this. Um, we'll go into a control and bring in an if if statement and go to operators and bring in an equals operator and go to the looks and bring in the costume number. And in the costume number, we're going to say if costume number equals to six, then we want to stop the game because if we answer question five correctly, um, it's going to go to the next costume, which is costume number six, which is the win state. And once we're in the win state, we want to stop the game because the player has won. And we're actually going to give, um, we're going to actually wait um, 0 0.5 seconds so we can hear that um, correct answer sound effect as well. So now we also want to go to the when flag is clicked and bring in a forever loop and bring in a if statement as well and go into operators and bring in an equals to operator. So in this equals to operator, we're going to need a brand new variable called game over. And then we'll place this here and we'll say if game over equals to true, then we're going to switch the costume to switch the costume to lose state. And after that, we're going to wait 0 0.5 seconds and stop all. And that's all we need for here. Now we can go to our backdrop. And what we're going to see right here is go to variables and we want to set the score to zero at the beginning of the game. And we want to um, change score by one. So now if we, we first need to disable this game over and we'll notice if we answer correctly, will um, have an addition to our score. Now we want to go to our heart image variable and we can actually just rename this to um, life's left. And the code that we're gonna use here is in events, we're going to say when flag is clicked and go to looks and switch the costume um, to life's three. Um, at the beginning of the game, we're going to have full life and then we're going to set the game over variable to, we're gonna set it to false at the beginning of the game because the game is not over if we've just started it, of course. And then we're going to go to um, events and say when I receive wrong answer, um, we want to switch the costume. We want to switch the costume to, to the next costume costume and in this case we can just use next costume we don't need to um, make this too complicated we can just say next costume and then we're going to go to the if is statement and say if costume so we actually need this costume number block and bring in an equals to operator and we're going to say if costume number equals to four which is the life zero uh, make sure that you have this aligned to three, two, one, and then zero lives. And bring this right here. And we're going to set the costume, uh, or not costume, but the variable game over to true. And then if we start this, um, we will then realize if we answer incorrectly um, enough times, then the game will end. 
so yeah that's all we have for for this video um if you let's also see what happens once you win um we can we can answer around a couple of times we we'll left one more life and we've won the game so yeah there we go that's the end of this video thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial series thank, thank you very much for watching so um please make sure to like um the video if you did enjoy it of course and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video where we're going to be adding a timer into the game and this timer is going to make sure that the player doesn't have any time to go research the question and if they take too long to answer the question they're going to lose a life so make sure to stay tuned for that and see you in the next video goodbye mm -hmm.